This is how my Thrustmaster Warthog is all set up. I have all the labels for everything. All the switches are, of course, something different than what's on the actual what's on the actual Warthog. So some of these I have to go into Target and actually make the switch a keybind on the keyboard so it'll recognize it. So I have a uh, Cat One, Cat Three, right here. Got arm and safe up and down. So the down is record. So when it's recording, I know that I started recording it because it's it's down like this, and I can put let's reset it. If I want to turn it off. So that's record. When I'm starting the engine or shutting down. I go forward for idle detent. This is the emissions for the radar. So I got norm forward. When I go back, it, the radar is quiet. When I have easy access to when I'm air to air refueling or after I get off the ground, I turn it to norm. This is the zoom. I use this for zooming back and forth. This button right here is a trim reset. Click it once, resets all my all my trim. This is the landing gear up and down. This is the air to air refueling. I don't know why I put TFR, but I really need to change that. But uh, open and close. It's emergency jettison. The altitude is up. Middle is autopilot off and down is attitude so different autopilot modes moving on to the stick are the throttles I have this right here forward is what I have it as it is IFF in and then back is IFF out up is COM1 down is COM2 and when I press it is when I it's a quick quick reference to declare for a, or the AWACS so that's in so speed brakes, uh, this is to extend the speed brakes, middle is, is neutral, and forward is to retract the speed brakes. This switch right here, back is the dogfight mode, being that they're close to me, so I want to go backwards on, the, on this switch. Middle is norm, it uh, turns off dogfight mode. And then forward is missile, medium missile mode, MSL mode, so this is a quick access to my AIM 120s uh, different variants so forward make sure I have the arm switching on then go forward and my AIM 120s are ready to be launched and then back to middle for regular nav mode this is easy access to air to ground and air to air back is air to ground forward is air to air I usually use back I don't use air, back, forward that much because I just click that for missile mode so if I need to go in air to air I can go back right here it'll go air to air and if, if I would like to get out of air to air, I can click it again. Or I could, uh, I could click this back one and forward. It'll get out of air to air, go back to nav. Moving on to the front. Front right here, I have the, I use this for the, what's it called? The radar up and radar down, radar down switch. So up, it uh, slews the radar up. Down, slews it down. On the left side, I have it for manual range out. And right is manual range in. This is for, usually I use it for when I'm using the targeting pod. So when the target, targeting pod is, is activated in soy, I go to the left to zoom out uh, of mode, to zoom out on the actual like digital zoom, or the, the, the optical zoom, and then right is to zoom in. So I use this to zoom out and zoom in. And then up and down is the radar up and down. This is for the radar so I can move it around up and down and then clicking it in is the radar cursor the cursor switch on like in the manual you can see what the cursor does if you hold it it switches like from position mode to bore sight and all that stuff this button right here I use it for to start recording I could change it for something else but I don't really see a reason to change that so in my videos when I start recording I click this button over here on the side I have this three this three positions so forward is my modes for chaff and flare. So forward is just the, I think I had it as chaff. So forward is chaff because it's a default. Usually you, you're not automatically in a dogfight and needing flares. So forward is chaff. Middle is flare. When I use my, is the flare uh, sequence. And then back is chaff and flare. So if once I, uh, use 
my uh, TMS on my stick over there, it'll go through the predetermined uh, sequence for chaff and flare. So there's three modes. It's basically chaff, flare, chaff, and flare. This down here, I have it, if I ever fly the 18, I have it for, this is automatic flaps. This is flaps all the way down. So when I'm landing, I don't have to look in the cockpit and try to find the, the flaps. So yeah, that's my that's my throttle, and this is I took out the the uh, afterburner detent. I took that out of there because I don't it's pointless. I don't use it. And then back, I don't use anything with the with the detents turning off. I don't I don't use that. So I just have it as just idle. Moving on to the let I me mean, look on here. I need to look at the if I ever get confused but I think I know it pretty well so well this I use this for for my hand my arm when I'm playing usually for long periods of time usually hold it like this I can put my hand right on there and it's very comfortable I don't have to always keep it up like this or not so it's very comfortable right there so moving on to the stick So everything is is pretty self-explanatory. It's it's, it's this is as you know this is basically the F16 stick. So this right here is launch, launch a missile, pickle, weapon release, and this right here is the TMS switch. So TMS up, TMS left, TMS right, TMS down. This is the CMS switch, the countermeasures. CMS up, CMS left, CMF right, CMF back, and then have the when I when you press in, it's for uncaging the cage switch. This button right here is the data management switch, the DMS. So this is for displays. Uh, display left, display right, down and up. So this this uh, switches throughout your displays and the sub modes in your displays. This is the trim, so left, right, up and down. First detent trigger, second detent trigger. So that's that's that right there. This right here is set to the pinky switch. So if you're on the FCR mode, you press that button, it autom it zooms in. This is the paddle switch. It's used in and can be used for temporarily disabling the autopilot, but I use it for screenshots in game. I have it set to a pretty screenshot in Falcon BMS. Moving over here, this switch right here is the master mode control button. It is basically the missile step and nose wheel steering, and also it uh, it's for the aerial refueling to disconnect. I'm about to edit this video, but for, almost forgot something. So with my keyboard, I have this set. I'll probably change it later on, but for now, I have this set for turning on and off the lights, external lights. So for quick reference, when you're fencing in, so that's press that lights go off. This right here, I have it on my left left MFD. So usually in air-to-air -air mode, when you're trying to do data, data link and send targets to other people, there's these, I think there's five. Yes, there's five buttons on the right side on the buttons. So this one right here changes from changes your data link from continuous and DM, DMD, which is demand. And then this is one, two, three, and then four. Where those buttons, you can click it and send it to one, two, three, and four in your flight. So you can kind of sort out who's going to go against, who's going to take a, what targets. It's an easy access, so you don't have to use the mouse. When it comes to being in the cockpit, I have all these for different, from ICP. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is on the ICP to control on your DMD, on your DED. This is left, this is down, this is up, this is right. So as I was explaining, I have uh, the different arrows on here. And the arrow, I use it for the arrow keys. So this, this right here button right here is left, up, down, up, down, right. I just set that to make sure so it's easy. I just use my left hand and go through here. Period is the list on your ICP at the top. It says COM1, COM2, and all that stuff. I put list so it could bring up the menu on the DED. And then I could control where I want to go with this and press on the number where I want to go with this. 
Now onto the computer. I have, so this right here, once you have target activated and initiated, it will automatically set to Thrustmaster combined because without target, it separates your throttle and your stick and it makes it really weird because you have to choose one of these to be able to set it. So if you choose one, set it, choose another one, it completely deletes everything. To my experience, it might be something else, but I've I set this game up about two, three years ago, and it was doing it back then. I'm pretty sure it's doing it now. But once you have target, it'll automatically put Guitar Smasher combined, which combines both of them. So for my set afterburner, I have it. You just set your afterburner. I have it right here because it made make sense. Uh, your center advanced. So everything in here, uh, as you saw in the, in the video, I have everything switch to an actual input for for the keyboard because without it it wasn't recognizing it in Falcon. So I have every well everything except for the actual buttons, but all the switches it needs a keyboard setting. Let's see switch quiet, switch norm, control G. I have the jettison down here, control J. And then uh, the the uh, landing gear up and down probably change that to control because it makes a sound when I do up. So anyway, uh, that's all of that. I'll, I'll probably I'll have the my actual mapping in the in the description so you can download everything and I'll Google Drive. So I'll go into advanced. So as I said with this field of view, I have that slider on my stick on my throttle for field of view. Make sure it's it's this and then if it's not here in the drop down, it's probably somewhere else. So you need to find it and then take it off of whatever mapping it's on and then move it to, it'll pop up in here once it's removed. So rudder, throttle, this is the left because this one says right. So make sure you, if you have a, if you ever play a two engine plane in Falcon, make sure you have your right and left. Trim, trim, pitch, trim, yaw. I don't have that set up. Brakes, left, right toe brake. Same thing with the throttle. Right toe brake, make sure you reverse it because it's uh if you let go of it it's setting brakes so you, i would have to reverse it uh make sure you make sure make sure you test it out before you like go on an online multiplayer game but i'm pretty sure you have to reverse it but it might be different for someone else pitch self explanatory roll self explanatory and i put it small i usually put it to none or i change it to none now and rudder stick i put the small cuz sometimes it could be really annoying when taxing and that's all of that. And avionics control, radar antenna. I don't have it as anything. Cursor X is this little mouse on my throttle. Back and forth, to and fro. Range knob, I don't have that. HUD brightness, reticle, all of this stuff is keyboard. So the rest I didn't really use. Audio, didn't use anything. Press OK. Um, that's mostly it for the game. So, hope you all enjoyed the video. I hope it's a good insider knowledge on how to set up your, in this case, Thrustmaster Warthog to Falcon BMS. In the next video, I'll be talking about how to program Target, the Thrustmaster software that comes with, or doesn't come with, but you have to download it on the internet. It comes with Thrustmaster, the Target software, how to Altitude. edit the Altitude. profile so that all your buttons can be different keyboards, keybinds on your keyboard. So stay tuned for that video. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. Please comment, subscribe, and like. See ya!